guys, it's coffee time with my tiny cup, and we are continuing our Europe trip. Um, if you want to see the other places that we've been, there will be links right here to the other places. Last place we were in, if you will remember, was Greece, um, which was very, very fun, and we loved Greece a lot. And the airline that we took, was it Hungarian Airlines? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it was just Hungarian Airlines. Um, best airline ever. <laughs> we were not expecting to love Hungarian Airlines as much as we did. But if you ever need to go to Hungary, or if you ever want to go to Hungary, um, take Hungarian Airlines because they're fab. We ordered, um, on mo most of the planes that we went on, uh, when you ordered the vegetarian option, they would give you, like, a salad. <laughs> You'd be like, all right, it works. They gave us a, like, the most amazing sandwich with um, stuffed grape leaves. And, like, oh, it was so good. It was incredible. We were like, this is the best food ever. Um, so purely based, I mean, the airline in general was great. But, like, the thing that I remember most about loving Hungarian Airlines was the food. Yeah. So... Our trip into Hungary started off awesome. Uh, so we got into Hungary. It was like halfway through a day, which meant that we had, um, we weren't there for very long and we were only in Budapest. So we had the other half of that day and then one more day. And that's, that's all the time that we were there. Um, but it was super fun. We actually, we all really want to go back there. Interesting fact. Um, Budapest is actually two cities, one called Buda and one called Pest. Um, Buddha is the more, like, castle gothic side, and then Pest is the more, um, modern side. So when you, when we went to, like, trek around and see, um, museums and castles and things like that, we went to the Buddha side. Uh, I'm trying to remember which side we were actually living, living, which side our hostel was in. Um, I do remember, though, that the dude who, uh, owned our hostel... Remind us a lot, <laughs> reminded us a lot of, uh, oh, what's his name from Ghostbusters? Oh, I can't remember his name. I'm not going to waste too much time on it, but it was awesome. And we were like, Ghostbusters. Uh, the hostel was really welcoming and it was really hot there at the time that we got there. And we were just like, when you, after a while carrying those backpacks, you just get so aggravated. <laughs> like <laughs> if anything goes wrong, all of us were like, mm. And getting snippy with each other. Uh, we did... We were able to send emails home there. So that was good. Uh, and we got there and just kind of, like, hung out for the first day, if I remember correctly. Um, I didn't write... The problem is... <laughs> Actually, let me lead into this. So, uh, so we got back. We, like, got to our hostel. We hung out. Whatever. The next day was when we, we started, like, going to the stores and stuff, and we had to exchange our currency because all of the places that we had been up to that point, I think, had been on the euro, but in Hungary, they're on the forint, so we had to exchange it. It's like, uh, oh man, it's like 500 and something to the dollar, so we were like, wow, that's awesome, but it, it actually wasn't, like, <laughs> the, um... The exchange rate and the amount of, that things cost, it it didn't wind up, like, being as big of a deal as we thought that it would be. But the best part was we, we went to the store and um, couldn't read anything because our phrase book did not have a Hungarian section, of course. So we went into, like, the store and we were like, let's only grab things that have a picture on them. <laughs> so, like, only grabbed the juice box that had a really obvious orange on it. Um, only grabbed rice that was obviously rice, things like that. So we bought a bunch of food, came back, and we were starting to cook, and it started raining. Oh my gosh, we, like, we must have seemed so crazy because we had missed rain so much. We were, like, leaning out the windows, like, running downstairs to go outside because we were so happy. It was, like... When you come from a place where it rains a lot and you've been gone for a while, um, we all, like, did not realize how much we missed the rain until it was happening. And it, like, 
Oh, gosh, this is going to sound so emo and ridiculous. We all, like, started, like, tearing up and getting, like, super happy. And it just, like, it it reinvigorated us so much. It was something that we really, really needed, especially since it was so hot there and then just random, like, flash rain. We were like, yes! (laughs) And, of course, it was right before we were going to eat. So it was just, like, a combination of so many awesome things that were happening. I like food, by the way. Uh, Yeah, so that was just the best. It was so awesome. Um, which is why in my journal, um, <laughs> it just says, it's raining in giant letters. I didn't even write anything that happened that day. Um, but Amanda did. So hold on. Let me see if she has any more infos. Yeah, we were right next to the train station. I do remember that. Um, uh... Okay, we were on the Pesht side because we crossed the Danube to go to the Buddha side. Um, all of their buildings, oh, so beautiful. So, like, gothic and just, like, dark. Um, lots of really gorgeous buildings. There are some buildings that um, looked very, uh, gosh, I don't want to say Soviet, but it c- kind of. Um, <laughs> there, was a, there was a very distinct difference between, like, the castle type stuff. And, um, the, the, like, Soviet-inspired stuff, I guess. Um. Oh! Yeah! Okay. I'm so glad that she didn't just write, It's raining! in her journal. Um, so, a lot of the buildings had bullets ho- bullet holes in them. And it was bizarre. It was so crazy. Um. I had never seen anything like that. There are, there are a lot of buildings that we walked by that had, like, really old bullet holes in them. And it was just so, it was so, like, crazy. Because you're, you're in this, like, area of town where there are just so many, like, gorgeous buildings. But obviously very, like, like, deep and dark. And then there are just, like, bullet holes. And you're like, oh! <laughs> um, no, but we had a lot of fun there. And that's one of the places... Budapest, we weren't there for very long, like I said, Um, but Budapest was one of the places that we, when we left, we were like, we should go back there because it was just, it was so, it felt like we barely touched on everything that there is to see there. Um, Yeah, so we definitely want to go back. Let's see if she wrote anything else. Did I write anything else? Hold on. Hold on. Because there's the, the page that says it's raining, but I, th- I think that I said other stuff on the next page. <laughs> it's raining! Yay, 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 yay! And then I started off day 20 with, sorry about the lame journal entry. <laughs> um, decided that I was going to call my journal Mozart. Uh, I don't remember why. The only, the only clue that I gave myself was remember the string. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dodge. Um, climbed lots of stairs... Saw lots of stuff. Um, did laundry. It was raining. So pretty. Oh, we saw... Okay. This was so cool. Um, we we were just, like, hanging out, just, like, chilling on the couches in the hostel. And Hook came on. The movie Hook. Which all of us love. But it was in Hungarian. And we were like, we know this movie well enough that we know what they're saying. So it was so cool. We were just like, we can actually watch this in Hungarian. And know what they're saying, like, in English. So cool. So we just, like, played out and just watched it for a while. It was really just, like, comfortable. I think that's one of the reasons that I think we look back on it so fondly is, like, so many really cool things that um, that weren't necessarily, like, associated with travel, but just associated with, like, our feelings about the place in general. Like, we, we... when we got there, we were so just, like, tired, um, and then we got rain, and we got awesome food, and we got to just sit and watch Hook in Hungarian, like, um, I don't know, it was really, really fun. So that combined with, uh, with how much history is obviously there, really cool place to be. Oh, let's see what else. We met some British people. (laughs) And we all talked about how awesome the rain was. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the next morning we got up super early and went to Austria. So we didn't stay there for very long, but um, 
It was super cool. Very, very cool. So, uh, I mean, there isn't, there isn't all that much that, that I can say beyond that because we weren't there for very long and which is one of the reasons why I want to go back so badly. But if you, uh, if you ever get the chance to go to Budapest, it's a very interesting place to be for sure. Um, yeah, that's one of the places, that's one of the places that I really want to go back to. Most of the places that we went, I would love to go back to and spend a lot of time there. Uh, but yeah, so sorry, there's a bunch of noise going on in the living room now. So I'm like, <laughs> distracted uh but that's basically the end of my story anyway so um this one wasn't nearly as um exciting there wasn't nearly as much uh to talk about but but rest assured that we had a lot of fun there and uh and that it's interesting i think is the only like the best word for it like it's an interesting place to go so you should go sometime and maybe it'll rain for you <laughs> if you like rain <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go uh, and uh, film my news episode. Oops. <laughs> okay.